public health emergency of international concern is a very rare declaration. They've used it for SARS, for swine flu, for Ebola. Yeah, six used, or seven times. Yeah, right? a few yeah. times, but um, but it means that it's a call to action for countries that this there's a high risk of this virus coming to you, and you need to prepare. And it leverages coordination with all the countries' ministers of health that they must coordinate their strategies and control with the WHO. optimistic, you know? Right. We have to hope that all things go well. But it really is wonderful because this production of a vaccine is going on internationally. There are several paths scientifically to trying to develop a vaccine. They're all moving simultaneously. There is a lot of communication already between the scientists. And so my fingers are crossed. It will take some time because First, you have to create the, uh, the vaccine candidate in the laboratory, and then, of course, you have to test it in volunteers to make sure it's safe and effective. So that will take a bit of time, but uh, it's proceeding at a pace that uh, is unprecedented. So that's very exciting. And in addition, there's research going on on therapeutic agents so that uh, if you get sick, we might have a treatment. That also is a little bit down the road yet, but nonetheless, work is on, on, on board and underway.